It's just so many, eh? Look at Dad's bucket this morning, guys. That's what I said when I said there's so much. I ain't joking, am I? So much. Yeah, look. Oh my. Well, folks, I was just out for a walk in the garden, and I want to show you. But last night, for anybody who watches S'mores or the Raccoon Chronicles, um, you saw he was in the kennel or the cage. The cage door shut. It didn't get to shut all the way because once it shuts all the way, there's no opening it back up. He He's like so fat, he caught it with his butt and he backed his way out and it just took seconds. But anyway, the trap is set again with lots of food and I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on trying, but this is his mess. Like that's not suitable. We don't even bother with this. That's his couch until we capture him. And then it got to get a good scrub down like disinfectant. Anyway, it is what it is and I'm I'm um just thankful. That's it. So, look at this. I can put our fountain back in. I can put it in during the day, but I have to take it out at night because he will take this out and he will chew on it. There we go. Once the sun hits, it'll be fountain. But I love the mushroom lights. I don't think I showed you guys them a little at night, but they are stunning. Here's an overlook of our garden. We started our compost pile again. You guys remember we completely emptied it out this year, and now we're refilling it. But it's all of the strawberry stuff, all of vegetable peels, coffee grinds. Um, banana peels are amazing for compost for your garden and sometimes I'll take like the whole entire peel and just throw it right in with my strawberries just puts potassium back in the ground but I'll give you a quick little overview of how just amazing everything is doing so this here is the strawberry Ugh, wow that's heavy I was gonna put it on the table to show you guys but it's heavy so I hope you can see it without my shadow isn't that beautiful? So I'm gifting that to a friend, a new friend of mine, and hopefully it gives her a good start. So, um, there's my kiwi vine, which will come and grow completely over here. So have a look at that. That's the new strawberry garden planted this year. There's the girls going. Dad was here this morning. You guys will probably see that in an earlier clip I took I took pictures and a little video of him picking. But look at this. Look at this garden. So this is in the middle of growing. I keep plucking all the flowers. We're getting many, many flowers, which is always a good sign. It's happy with the soil. It's happy with everything. We've been getting enough rain, so I'm not worried. And I see, so this strawberry plant here, this guy is making runners. Look, he's spreading. He's going to make a big cluster literally right here. It hasn't rooted yet, but it's going to do that by itself. And earlier this summer, it started rooting one right here. So, hi, how are you? These guys, that's my neighbor. These guys here keep their clusters real tight. No, girls, come on now. Come on. Come, come, come. Um, so, you know, I planted three butternut squash in here. I knew three was going to be too much, but anyway, what I did was I took the third little one out that was the most struggling, and I planted him in here, and he's kind of withered, so I'm not sure if he's going to survive or if that's it because I disturbed his roots. I don't know, but we'll see. See how it grows. Um, you guys remember back in April when we still had frost, I did red onions and green beans together? And they're doing phenomenal. Google said not to plant them together, but they're, they seem pretty darn happy to me. And I'm already starting to get, if you guys can see, the green beans are starting to grow. And there's, there's some everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's some. Like, talk about plentiful. Anyway, look at my roses, natural roses. Isn't that so beautiful? I think there's a hornet there feeding. Hornet or bee. Oh, you can. Coco, can you get out of there? You know you're not allowed in the strawberries. Come on, Coco. Good girl. Get. I tell you, this little gate from the dollar store, this fencing was the best idea. I've used it in my vegetable garden here to keep the dogs out. Everything's growing amazing. Cuppy, what are you doing, honey? Um, so, 
this is an update on look at Coco living her best life they love being out in the garden with me this is all yellow beans right here and you guys know when I planted them I planted them nice and tight but they're all starting to sprout you guys see they're all coming look at that look at them there's just so much abundance here guys so we'll definitely have enough for me and my hubby to have our fill my parents planted their own this year so what I'm gonna do is give some to my neighbor and the pastor because the neighbor's the one that gives us all his grass clippings and leaves in the fall and I get like 40 to 50 garbage bags full of leaves and that's the best compost you just got to mulch it and that uh, you just do that with the weed whacker in a barrel so it's really not that hard but it is time consuming look at the corn guys look at la corn my corn got to be as tall as dad's corn now Ugh, I don't want this to be stinted by that so let's just help it out move it let's move that look at this healthy corn I don't know how many I have I know I planted quite a few and I planted them close together but they're gonna grow and be amazing now look at my tomatoes do you guys remember when I first planted the tomatoes how small it was and now look at they're all squashed in here together they're doing amazing my lavender came back to life Look at it, now we got purple lavender growing on it. There's Miss Cuppy. <laughs> She's definitely a, garter, a gardener's dog. Um, these tomatoes here. So the early girls are on this side. They're called early girl tomatoes. And I actually have, there's tons of flowers, guys, like tons. Do you guys see to the level? But look at, I also got a tomato. I got more than one tomato. I was looking at it this morning. Like there's a couple, look, there's another one here, another one here. There's all kinds, tomatoes, flowers. Yeah, I see a tomato in there. You guys probably can't, but there's tons. So this is gonna be a beautiful harvest. We'll have plenty to share again this year. My walking onions just so tall. It's almost four feet tall now, cause it's just under my boob but look at what it's growing. You see these bulbs? These are bulbs that when they drop, they make a whole other walking onion plant. And the, the ones that are there, they don't die. They'll fall back in the winter, but they spread. And my goal for last year and this year is to have them spread because this whole section is for walking onions here and chives. So I'm gonna let it fill up. But after that, I will be probably selling some of these bulbs to people who also want to have perennial onions in their garden that come back every year these onions are healthy and amazing and they're hard to find walking onions is a perennial and it's very difficult to find to purchase so I could make a little bit of money you know by doing that but look at these healthy bulbs there's like four or five bulbs right there in that one cluster there's three bulbs here Look at, there's one, two, three, four, five, six here in that cluster. Just amazing. Now I'm giving my cousin Ellie six bulbs this year. That way she can like start her own. And she's getting into it too. And it makes my heart happy for her. But look at the update on the garden. The strawberries are still in full bloom, guys. Even though we've been picking now for weeks, they are still there's so many new like flowers there's so many new strawberries continuing to grow and and they're amazing now as the se summer season goes on their berries will get smaller but right now they're huge oh my gosh my rhododendron is still alive and it's doing something beautiful look at remember those little sharp peaks now they're now everybody else's rhododendron already bloomed and their blooms are dying and dead so mine is well behind everybody else, but it's still alive. I just knew, I just knew everything was gonna be okay. Um, this little mound of seafood compost, I planted hollyhock seeds in there. So far I'm not seeing anything yet. Well, I don't know what that is. If that's a weed or a hollyhock, I don't know, but I'm not gonna pull it just yet till I make sure it's not a hollyhock cause I don't wanna, like I really, really wanna grow hollyhocks in our yard. And once I get to start growing them, I will also sell those seeds in a couple of years. And another thing is, hollyhocks start at like anywhere between five feet to like 11 feet tall. The ones I bought giants that go up to a size 11 feet too. 
So it's going to look like a magical garden with the hollyhocks growing. I'm going to do different patches. And I do plan to put a patch on this side of that arbor right there by the step. I want it to feel like a magical garden, like you stepped out of this world and you're, because to me that's what this is. All right, update on the watermelon. What, Coke? Look at the watermelon, how good they're growing. Look how big my plants are. They're really happy in the tire. And compare, okay, so the tire is way better, happier than just in the ground here. And I think it's because of the heat. Um, but they're both, they were both planted from seed. And I mean, this guy's doing good too. He is doing good. But yeah, the corn is doing amazing. Everything here is doing great. Now these, how many tires? One, two, three, four. The next four tires that you're gonna see, yellow beans, green beans, and you guys, look at all the stuff coming. Look at beauty, 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 beauty. There's gonna be so many in here. It'll be like the strawberries. You think you got them all, push away some leaves, you find a whole bunch more. So this is the only green beans and the green beans that I planted with the red onion over there, but everything else is all yellow beans. So yellow beans here, yellow beans coming up, yellow beans there. Look at how beautiful they are. They're all just popping up and opening. I love it. Makes my heart so happy. I do these videos for myself because I watch over the garden, especially in the winter. As you guys know, winter months is, you know, rougher. Look at Cuppy. What are you going to pounce on? Oh, Coco. <laughs> huh? You guys going to play? So my um, peonies, look at the big fat seeds coming. My goal is to, all along the fence here, is to have all high flowers like peonies, hollyhocks, stuff like that. And uh, you got to let these guys completely dry right out. But look at these big fat peony seeds. Like they're, in, they're huge. They're huge. So again, and maybe next year I can start selling peony seeds as well, which is amazing. This is our beautiful plum tree, very healthy. And our second plum tree right here, very healthy, sturdy. He's happy and doing well. Yep. And um, potatoes, this was the first potatoes we planted and they went through the frost and they're doing completely fine. Look how big and healthy they are. They're incredible is what it is. Anyway, no bugs, no nothing. I think it's because of all the nice coffee grinds in there. The bugs really don't like that coffee. Um, now my blackberries, remember you guys when I planted these as babies? Now look at them growing. Look at all the flowers. Look, oh yay. Do you guys see? These are actually starting to form the actual blackberries. <laughs> look at those flowers. This is healthy and happy. And now this vine is almost ready to grow onto, you know, but with blackberry vines, they're not like the kiwi vine, they're not like the grapevine. You literally gotta have string and start tying them up and teach them. That's what you gotta do, so. Now this is not a blackberry. This is a, one of the vines that's, these vines are very aggressive. They were always on our fence and I never had issues until now that I garden. I don't want them taken over. Like they'll crawl all over your stuff. They'll try to smother it out if they get a chance. So anytime I see that happening, you got to pull them right away. Um, the Logan berries are doing amazing. My peonies here, they're done. They're just falling. All the stuff's falling off. But look at, remember when Ellie planted the baby potatoes, look at how big they are. That's absolutely incredible. Now you see some hole on the leaves? You see that? So there must be some type of bug. Could be a potato bug in there, but there's a lot of healthy leaves, so it's nothing that I'm worried or concerned about at all. But look at that grow. Look at my wildflowers. These are five feet tall now. They're gonna be over my head. Look at them. They're starting to get whatever is going to grow. I have no idea what these flowers are. I planted them and I really don't even remember what I had here last year. So, but they're doing amazing, whatever they are. Five feet tall. So, still got lots of strawberries. You guys can kind of see. And they're not small. You can see how big they are. 
right? Um, summer squash is doing amazing in this tire. Very, very happy. Now, the other summer squash is way smaller and has lots of flowers. And this guy is just starting to get some flowers. See, look, a couple flowers starting to come. But very, very healthy, and it will do well. And then over here is all the fruiting bushes. We have two hip cast bushes. I have grape grapevine there, but it has um, seeds, so I leave it for the birds. And then that what's all tied up because it has thorns, but it's, uh, what's it called? Gooseberries. They're amazing. And look at the grapes. They're all forming. Remember last time they were flowering? Now they're forming all the grapes. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful gift. You guys, there's hundreds of grapes just here on this vine. Like, you can see it all the way down. Look, as I go up, you can still see all the clusters of grapes. Now, mind you, we have a lot of hungry squirrels here that will be eating some. but And I'll let them have some, but they're not going to take it all. Also, i got to show you my clematis. How stunning is this? And I put, I put string here so it can try to climb up, but for the most part, I'll have to come out every so often and help it go up and tie it. And I don't cut my clematis down at all, and it's a good thing because it just keeps coming back healthier and stronger every year. Look at it. Look how beautiful that is. Let me get a picture. Look at the raspberries. I hadn't had success with raspberries all these years because I ignored the raspberries. It was the only thing in the garden I didn't pay any attention to. And when I say that, I mean it. Like, I did nothing. I didn't put grass clippings or coffee or nothing, but this year I did. I did seaweed, coffee grinds, grass clippings. Come on, girls. Come on, Mama. Come on. Um, but look at them now. Look at them growing. All this is going to be all fresh fruit this summer. Look, it's endless. It's like a, a sea of raspberries. Look, like way back there. It's going to be good pickings. I'm so excited for this because raspberries are so healthy. And the blueberries are not in short either, guys. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is, look it, there's just a ton of berries. Like, and this here's not even full size. These are gonna be the blueberries that you get at the grocery store, the big fat ones, because they're called high bush blueberries. So they're not the little wild ones that you find, but the little wild ones are still so sweet and amazing. Nothing compares. Look at these branches that get so heavy, they're gonna, <sighs> these are the smaller ones. They haven't, they get to be this big. This is full size, four feet tall, and they get wide. So it's gonna be literally a fence of blueberries here when it grows and a fence of blueberries there when that grows. These ones are a different brand but they're still high bush and if you guys can see these ones grow in differently. They have a blue tint to it but they're gonna get like that big and they're amazing. They have a little tiny sour to them but they're still sweet. <gasps> you guys are you kidding me? <gasps> You guys, Jacqueline, this is my first real cherry from this tree back here. Look it, and it's early. I didn't think I was gonna get any this year because it flowered, and I don't know if the birds plucked the flowers or if the flowers dropped, but I gotta take a photo of this, my first cherry. And this is nowhere near being done. Oh, wow. What is it? Cuppy. She's like, what is it, mama? Yeah, I don't want you eating that. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't eat that, girl. Look at Coco. All right, guys, so you can see the grapes. My peony here also is done for the season. So it's going to produce seeds. My, what are these called again? Uh, I forget what they're called. Lupins. They're, look, they're all coming to seed. Look at this. How beautiful they are. Look at all this is seed pods. Seed pods. This is a gift to me. Like, I'm truly grateful to God. So, that was ones purchased from a greenhouse. This is natural. And look at the difference with the seed pods. Look how they got fur on them. So, they'll produce just right. They'll spread a little. But I can choose what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. I love lupins. They're a high flower. They're very high color. They're beautiful and they're no care. Um, 
I had planted six astable bushes this summer because they're a plant that grows in full shade. And as you guys see, you see our deck here, how we don't have it covered in. So I wanted this for beauty to kind of hide the deck. And they grow like up to five feet tall. So obviously not in one summer, but it will grow bigger every year and the bush will fill out bigger every year. So yeah, everything's growing good. The pink ones were smaller when I bought them, but they're still healthy and doing good. They're done flowering. The purple seem to last longer, but they're in fuller shade. And then look at these blackberries over here, guys. You remember when I showed you and it looked like a like dead branches and now look at the life coming to it <laughs> blackberries are so sturdy I'm just hauling a couple weeds you want to get the weeds out because it'll steal nutrients that are valuable for your soil and that's what I mean if you do it every time you're out here even if you're able to haul five that's five gone um, look at the bounty coming look at the bounty you know and this one here isn't in full sun this one here is in a lot of shade to be honest and it still grows so much fruit like I don't know if you guys can see to the level of fruit it's just absolutely a blessing and my watering container is completely full but I like I said that there is just rare if I had to water the tomatoes or the green or yellow beans but I mean <laughs> uh, Michelle do you guys see all my friends are starting perennial gardens and it makes my heart so happy Jacqueline's gonna start um, transforming her backyard into a strawberry you pick for her and her family I love that because that was what I had said with me my goal was not to just have enough for me and my husband. That was not my ever my goal. That was never in my heart. But it was to have enough to be so bountiful, to be able to have it for a blessing for others too. Like to make sure my parents are got everything that they want and like some neighbors and my family and God's been blessing us. These are full-size kiwis growing right here. If you guys can kind of see the flowers underneath. There's flowers all throughout this. Like they grow in clusters too but these are the full-size kiwi and these vines will try to grab onto whatever they can but I want to keep them like I want to keep the vines on my trellis that we built it's 12 feet long it's like seven feet high now have a look at this kiwi vine let me just show you the level of fruit we have hold on try to show you I can show you the world. Wait, I feel like you guys are not seeing because of the leaves, but all these kiwis hanging. Look at, do you guys see the level of kiwis we got growing here? Like, there's just so many, but I feel like because of the sun, you guys aren't really able to see. Anyway, I hope that you are, I hope you can see that. This is the other end of the arbor. The opposite end and here's another grapevine these are all the grapes we grow in our yard except one vine is all full no seed look at them look at them grow thank you god look at them grow now i have to come to the backyard and snip off about this much of each one the ends because then it makes this get bigger like the actual fruit get fatter so it triggers something in the plant to make it be more bountiful like biggest potential so somebody out walking their dog and the girls have a hairy canary after them all right let's roll girls come on I love these flowers here so pretty so yeah I'll give you a quick overview this is where dad was picking this morning look and then see my trellis over here wait where is it do you guys see it right there is where the my more blackberry vines and they're all flowering I gave you a tour of that yesterday so hopefully you can kind of see the fruit that's coming on there too it's amazing such a blessing